Under this new bill, Philadelphians will be banned from wearing ski masks, also known as shysties, in schools, rec centers, parks, city buildings, or any public transportation. Those who do will face a $250 fine. Anyone wearing one while committing a crime will face $2,000. Philadelphia City Council member Anthony Phillips delivered an impassionate plea to his fellow council members to pass the legislation he introduced. He says it's centered around a public safety issue and feedback he's received from the community. However, most of the public comments today were from people strongly against it, from teens to those who work in social justice. Safety is important. This proposal feels more like an attempt to further criminalize young people of color than it does to actually get at safety concerns. I have a ski mask on. I didn't cause any harm to anybody. I don't plan on causing harm, any harm to anybody. I've never been arrested. I never plan to be arrested. I am begging, can we please put more of our energy into creating opportunities for young people to thrive, not more opportunities for them to be fined, arrested, and shuffled into a deeply harmful criminal legal system. One suspect is armed with a sawed-off shotgun, and both the gunman and his accomplice are wearing face masks when they are caught on video entering Larry's Famous Pizza in the 6400 block of Rising Sun Avenue. The brazen armed robbery happened on November 29th. The two men demanded cash from the register. A female employee complied, handing it all over. Police don't know the exact amount stolen. Then two weeks later, on December 11th, police believe the same sawed-off shotgun-wielding duo struck again a few blocks away down the Rising Sun Avenue corridor in the 5900 block at this Dollar General. Here, an employee gave the cash to the robbers estimated at about $150.